My name is The Adipose and this is The Simpsons Tapped Out. In this video we're going to be looking at designing the Springfield General Hospital, one of the toughest buildings in my view to design properly. Okay, so today we're looking at the Springfield General Hospital. Now, like I said in the introduction, I think this is quite a tough building to design. And that's for a whole bunch of reasons. First of all, the perspe perspective is a bit off, I think. Like, it's clearly a huge building, but when you look at it in terms of its size next to things like the houses and the, the school and things like that, it just isn't kind of big enough. Like, the whole thing is kind of scaled down. And you can see it especially when you look at the road at the front. The road is smaller than actually the, the, the other kind of main roads you have in the city. And the windows are kind of all smaller than what you might get in the other house. Like, if I, you can kind of look at the top the top row of windows here and then kind of compare it to some of the windows over here or all the windows of the blue house for example the hospitals are clearly smaller so the perspective the sizing I think is a little bit wrong and that makes it hard to design because if you put it next to the wrong thing or in the wrong place it just kind of doesn't look quite right the other problem here is this road that comes out to the front of it it clearly needs to connect to some other roads but of course then you you can't just have a kind of a smooth connection to a road you've got to end up with kind of like another little road connection so it's a tough building to design for but of course this is our Springfield we're going to take it proudly and we need to come up with some designs that work nicely so as normal we're going to have a look around and get some inspiration from my buddies on origin and then I'll show you what my design is in about five minutes or so so let's get exploring now this is the, a design um, by a lovely chap who I met on the EA forums called Eknalk, which I assume is Clarence backwards. Now what he's done is not just put the hospital in isolation, but his way of designing this is to put together this whole kind of health uh, area. As you can see here, we've got the hospital, we've got the mental hospital, and we've got the retirement village all in the same complex. We've got an ambulance and one car, car parking space to serve it all, various relaxation areas around, some beautiful fountains. It makes for a really nice complex. And by putting the hospital slightly further away from the other buildings, it avoids that nasty perspective issue. The only possible thing we've got here is the fact that his roads don't necessarily connect to other roads, but you've got to make a sacrifice somewhere. Um, the flower design here I think is absolutely beautiful I love the little um, eating area down the down the bottom there with those little lampposts around we've got various deck chairs we've got a, um, a gazine, no, sorry, a butterfly house at the top you know for all the patients to kind of go and enjoy and sit down and relax and stuff and I think this is just a really lovely design of not just one building but an entire zone in this Springfield so we'll definitely be taking some inspiration from this design and this is the hospital designed by Magnificent. Um, again, this is another new creator that I haven't featured before um, in my city design videos. And he has um, put together a lovely um, little kind of green zone for his hospital. We've got that little road going around the back of the hospital leading to the car park in the background. Few little, uh, sorry, in the, in the back lot. Few little lampposts there. F um, hedges to kind of split apart the various sections. He's combined the design with the doctor's practice, which of course makes perfect sense again both being medical and we've got a couple of premium items the ambulance is there um, to complete that kind of car park motor um, idea because of course a hospital needs ambulances people need to be brought to the and uh, brought to the hospital so it works really nicely as a kind of um, this is a building that is used regularly he's connected his roads um, both up to uh, a kind of straight road going along and again we've got the idea of a small recreational area at the back but this time instead of using tables and swings we've got um, so we've got seesaws and and, uh, and, and swings um, for, for maybe kind of sick children and things like that but overall this again this is a design that really makes the building look special and uh, well used now, Rugman 420's hospital design continues the green theme by connecting the hospital to a park. Now, this works nicely because, again, you don't have to worry about that perspective problem of the building kind of being the wrong size because we've got no other buildings very close to it. Um, again, we've got premium decorations in terms of the ambulances, but we've also added in some premium white fences and some premium uh, flower decorations. They look really, really nice together. And again, if you look at the top right-hand side of the screen there, you'll, again, you'll see the spring 
Springfield Retirement Castle close by with another ambulance. So again, we've got this kind of medical um, area uh, going on um, as well. Uh, overall, a very nice design using those white picket fences and the uh, the grey walls of the park instead of the, some of the more traditional kind of industrial um, fencing that it might be tempting to use here. And I've got to say, I've never seen so many cool characters running around this city as I have with Rugman 420s today. I've seen helicopters, demons, soldiers, people on bikes, and of course little balloons at the top. His city looks really, really alive. It's fantastic. And over to one of my favourite designers, um, Mel Designer, for our final guest hospital. This one um, has really made a feature of that road entrance uh, with those two roads leading up to um, the hospital, which I think worked really, really well. And he's used, taken then the opportunity to kind of put flowers and trees um, and benches um, around that particular design. Because obviously when people visit hospitals, they want, they, they, uh, uh, there might be kind of a lot of waiting around or tough decisions to make. So it, this is a hospital that kind of tells a story, which I really kind of like. Um, and of course, next up, we've got a few premium items. We've got the, the ambulances again, and it's tough if you haven't got donuts. But I think in the same way that the police station needed the police cars, perhaps the hospital does need an ambulance or two. Uh, we've got the doctor's surgery nearby again, again with more parking and benches and a lovely kind of green park area design. And if we just sneak up just a little bit, We've got the Springfield Retirement Castle very nearby as well. And the flower theme continues uh, between the two. So it kind of, again, looks like they're all kind of part of the same zone, even though we actually have um, kind of a little, a little road network there as well, kind of defining the edges of um, the various buildings. A very nice um, Springfield Hospital design, again, mainly pushing the hospital away from other buildings um, to keep it separate and distinct. So let's head back to my Springfield and see what I put together. Now, as always in my Springfield, my big issue is space. Land is so, so pricey, and I keep buying those buildings and not really having much space to put them. Uh, but I have grabbed a few squares here just um, for my hospital design. And I really, really liked that dual entranceway idea. But rather than putting flowers in the middle of it, I decided to put a little kind of streak of water to kind of get a bit of colour variety in there. Um, I loved that bench idea, the idea that people should kind of go and wait outside the hospital. So I kind of um, used that and dispersed that with trees and some flowers and a little lamppost here and there to kind of frame that. Um, I thought it'd be nice to have a kind of a, some sort of kind of statue around because hospitals are obviously quite important places and you often find memorials to various people or the person that the hospital is named after. So I put in one of the uh, uh, the kind of angel forests, the a angel hedges there and then I decorated that with flowers as well. And of course this is a living breathing building so uh, maybe a bin at the back, some some more into kind of industrial stuff. Car parking for the ambulance out the front. Um, I didn't want to spend loads of donuts here so I just bought one and then kind of fenced off the other park areas as if there would be more ambulance that would go there uh, and then visitors parking at the back with a and of course it's visitors parking it of course needs the uh, the parking meters and the phone boxes for people to give the good news about the baby or the bad news about um, whatever um, I thought the the doctor's surgery went quite well um, near it with a couple of trees and lampposts to frame it off I don't think it needs much more than that really and uh, like we've seen in so many others the Springfield retirement castle had to go near now, when I expand the land at the bottom, I will expand my Springfield Retirement Castle and put some kind of um, recreational facilities um, in the back of it. Um, but just for now, I kind of gave it a little road going into the complex, and I took advantage of the new um, Springfield update to put um, Inspector Chalmers' car there, as if that's kind of like one of the healthcare assistance cars who's there um, at work today. A few um, tree pots around to frame the uh, to frame the entrance there and to cover up the divisions between the uh, the road, the, the, the pathway, and, and the greenery. But Overall, I think I, I quite like my little compact hospital, but it still makes it look kind of grand and separate from the rest of the city. I think it also goes quite net well next to the, the town hall and, and library type stuff because they're all kind of council um, uh, buildings that are there to kind of help the help the community. And I kind of like a city that really does kind of feel um, city-like rather than just like random buildings kind of placed here and there. I hope that has given you some inspiration for your own hospital design. Please do not just put a ring of road around your hospital and go ta-da, done. Because in researching this video, um, I found loads and loads of people had literally just done that. Just put a ring of road around it and, and decided that was enough. You can do a lot with this building, so get designing. Please give the video a like if you found it helpful, and do subscribe to the channel for all loads of Simpsons videos and loads of other cool little series as well. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.